Hello. Are you planning on travelling Scotland? Are you planning on arriving at Glasgow Airport and wondering how you get from the airport to the city centre? Well, this might be the video for you. Glasgow Airport opened to passengers in 1966. Since then it's become one of the biggest airports in Scotland and is served by destinations all over Europe with flights to North America as well from Toronto and Barbados and flights to Asia from Dubai with also flights from Africa from Sham El Sheikh. There are high chances that you'll be arriving at Glasgow Airport. Now when talking about Glasgow Airport there are four main ways in which you can get from the airport to the city. They all have their own positive and negatives and we're about to break them down for you. So once you've left international arrivals you'll have the option of taking a right or a left. If you head right you'll be heading towards the stances that a lot of your tour companies and a lot of your pre-booked stuff will leave from. This is also where a lot of the car parks that you need to get a bus to also leave from, as you can see from the bus in the picture. If you turn left, you're heading towards the public transit. This is where your 500, the 77, the 757, the taxis and also the bus services which take you up north leave from. Now we'll be looking at the bus services which take you up north in a later video, but for this video we're looking at uh, the services which take you into Glasgow and which one's best for you. Now as you will look along this pathway you'll eventually stumble across a zebra crossing. If you were to cross the zebra crossing you would be at the stances which you need to head towards if you're taking the 757 which is the bus and rail option or the 77 which is the longer more commuter service option into Glasgow. As you can see there's the crossing there and just in the distance there is the stances. Now if we continue walking along just on your right you'll see that that's the taxis lining up towards the taxi rank and just further up ahead where the blue is that is where the actual taxi rank is and that's where you'll be picked up by a taxi. Now as you can see there's a good queue there and there tends to be a lot of taxis there at one time. So if you do decide that the taxi is right for you, that is where you need to head to. But if you're looking to take the 500, the main airport express bus, you continue heading along towards Terminal 2. And before reaching Terminal 2, you'll come across the purple stance just up ahead, which is often manned by some stewards, workers, who if you're looking for tickets, they'll advise you on what you need to do. But as you can see, that's the stance just there. So the first service we'll be looking at is the service 500, which is the express bus. It's only £9 for a single ticket, and considering it gets you to the city in about 15 minutes, and to the city centre in about 35 it's not a bad service at all. As you can see on the bottom floor here, there's plenty of space for your luggage. And if you head up the stairs, um, there are tables with each of the tables having two wireless chargers and all of the individual seats having USB chargers and wireless chargers in the place for you to put your phone. There is also a stop button on most of the seats and if you need to check where you're going, need to check Wi-Fi, the bus also has free 4G. As you can see, the traffic can get quite busy. So keep that in mind if you're planning on getting somewhere for a certain time as it really depends on if you're hitting the city during rush hour or not. So your first stop on the 500 is pretty much all your big hotels and where all your big office blocks are and I guess this is where you'd be getting off if you were staying in maybe the Marriott or something like that or you had work on one of these offices. 
the next stop is the central station so if you were to get the 757 and the train option this is where you'd be arriving um, so that's a good thing to keep in mind I guess this is also the spot to get off at if you're heading south so if you're getting a train to Ayrshire, Dumfries and Galloway or even down into England this is where you want to get off as a lot of your trains heading south most of your trains heading south leave from Glasgow Central Station and then your next stop is Glasgow Queen Street Station this is on George Square so this is really the centre central stop and if you are getting off here and you're getting a train from here this is where a lot of your Edinburgh services and your services which head north leave from and then the final stop is Buchanan bus station um, you can get a bus to pretty much anywhere in and around Glasgow from here and if you have purchased the 500 ticket um, you then also are entitled to one free journey on any first bus but that journey does have to be taken I believe within 30 minutes of purchase or it could be 90 minutes I'll put it on the screen which one it is Your next option is the bus and train option. Now for this, head for the 757 and then once you're on the bus, buy a ticket from the driver for about £2.70 for a single and stay on the bus until it's terminus at Paisley Gilmer Street. Once you're off the bus, you need to follow the pathway up to the taxi rank, go around the taxi rank and then into the concourse for the station. Now this is a good option going that your connection from the bus to the train is flush and is a good on-time connection. But if you don't get that connection quite right, you can, might find yourself standing about Paisley Gilmer Street. I'm also not sure how late this one runs, so this is possibly a better one which is for the day. Now when it comes to the train ticket, you can get your train ticket on train line or off the ScotRail website, although I do recommend Trainline, um, or you can get it from the kiosk inside of the actual station. Now, you don't have to go to Glasgow Central from here. You can go to any other station in Glasgow, and in the greater Glasgow area, there are roughly 186 stations that you can go to. So, it would be good to do a bit of research on where the best location for you is as you might find that you can get to that station from Paisley Gilmore Street. Now if you haven't bought your tickets yet, head to the ticket machine at the back left corner and search up your destination. For the example, I've searched up Glasgow Central just so you can see how, how much it is and how easy it is to use their machine. So in total, this option will cost you roughly £6.70. Now back at Glasgow Airport, your third option is to head in the 77. A single ticket will cost you about £1.80, which is definitely the cheapest that you can get from Glasgow into the city centre, with stops at Renfrew, Brayhead Shopping Centre, Queen Elizabeth University Hospital, The Clyde Tunnel, Thornwood, Partick, Kelvin Hall. And finally, the University of Glasgow and Kelvin Grove. Now, 
it does go further. It goes all the way to Buchanan bus station, and it to get there, it heads through the center of Glasgow. But as the 500 heads there and the 500 gets there quicker, that would be your more ideal route to take. But if you're heading to the places out in the west end of Glasgow, like the places mentioned before, this could be the better bus. It is also the cheaper bus. So if you are looking for a cheaper ride into the city, definitely take this, as although it does take a little bit longer, the length versus the cheapness, it really is up to you which one you want to take. Your fourth and final option is to take a taxi. Now they cost about £38 to get into the city, but will obviously take you directly where you want to go. Well, my, with my thoughts of each option on the screen now, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you need any of the links mentioned in the video, they will be in the description. And I do hope you enjoy your time travelling Scotland.